with the passing of their beloved 12th president, His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos. The people of the Philippines are mourning the loss of a remarkable leader who ensured peace, stability, and prosperity for his country. Among his many accomplishments while in office, His Excellency opened the nation's doors to thousands of Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese refugees in the 1990s, after being introduced to Supreme Master Ching Hai's humanitarian efforts on their behalf. The uh, Philippines was seen as uh, the first as well as the last sanctuary of the uh, Vietnamese uh, refugees. And so those that uh, could not find a new home outside uh, were allowed to stay in the Philippines. And this was uh, one of the, uh, I would say, uh, most gratifying policies that uh, we promulgated during my time as president. For me, you are Mr. Ramos, <laughs> my hero. You're more than president. <laughs> Sending her loving prayers and sympathy, Supreme Master Ching Hai requested for our association members to respectfully convey her and our association's heartfelt condolences with gifts and flowers. The following is a report from our association members in the Philippines. After arranging for two wreaths of funeral flowers from Master to be delivered to the funeral site, we arrived on August 6th at 7 p.m. to the reception area. We had the opportunity to speak with Mrs. Celeste Matrugo, former secretary of the late president, who knows Master, as she was in Taiwan or Formosa during the celebration when Master honored the late president with the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion. Mrs. Matrugo said that the former first family was not receiving visitors due to COVID-19 safety protocols and as she herself was not authorized to receive any gifts. She called Mr. Cornelio Herbacio, a representative for the family, to have him deliver the sympathy card and tea gifts on our behalf. We shared with Mrs. Matrugo how thankful Supreme Master Ching Hai and our association members are to President Fidel V. Ramos for helping the Aulaxis or Vietnamese refugees during their desperate time, and that Master and our association will always be grateful and never forget His Excellency's kindness. We also explained to Mr. Hebesio that the card contained a copy of the Supreme Master Television tribute video and requested if he could let the family know. When we arrived, a funeral service was being held by the armed forces of the Philippines with a series of eulogies delivered to honor the late president. After it ended, we also paid our deepest respects and offered sincere prayers before the urn of His Excellency. We joined in loving sympathy for the close ones and fellow citizens of His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos, the magnanimous father of the Philippines. May his soul rest peacefully in God's eternal light as his legacy on earth of benevolent leadership lives on 